Hey guys, listen, I know this is late. I was very late getting in. Uh, we had service. We actually had outdoor service. Parking lot church is what we're calling it. It was fabulous. I mean, it really was. I'm telling you, parking lot was absolutely jammed. We had a great time, great spirit of the Lord, but I just got home and uh, I've been meeting with you every evening, but I, I had something that I wanted to just say to you because it's Easter. So I won't get a chance this week to, to, to backtrack and, and talk about this, but I wanted to talk to you about the importance. And this is just a little nugget that I want you to tuck away in, in your heart. I want, I want you to hear, you know, the Bible is, is the will and testament of God. You know, when people die, they leave the, the last will and testament. It tells what they want, it tells how they want things done, and it, it really begins to say, uh, I want this person to get this, that person to get something. I want it distributed this way. It's, the, it's their will, uh, their last will and testament. Well, let me read you real quickly, Hebrews 9, 16, and 17. It says, or where there is a testament, there must also of necessity be the death of a testator. In other words, if there's going to be a last will and testament, there has to be somebody that's going to die. And verse 17 says, for a testament is in force after someone is dead, since it has no power at all while the testator lives. Now that's very important. And you need to read Hebrews chapter nine for just a couple of moments on that. So what it was saying was, is even though there is a will and a testament, uh, someone has to die for that thing to go in force. But what was so incredible is when Jesus died, this will, I mean, you can see it's the new covenant written in his blood. We talked about all of that, but this last will and testament, he died and it's his will and he rose again from the dead uh, to, to be the executor of that will. So not only was it his will and he died and it was initiated when he rose from the dead, he became the executor to make sure that that will is carried out to the last detail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I had fun with that. It was, it was really something when I look at the word of God and the promises of God, and how rich and how fulfilling they are and the fact that Jesus is the executor of this last will and testament. He's carrying it out. I'm just telling you, uh, we're in good hands. We're in good hands. Hey, I hope you had a great Easter. It, it's been wonderful today. I am wiped out. I am exhausted, but I had a great day today. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, it's so different you know, I mean, normally we have a big giant uh, meal uh, for our entire church and we have all kinds of activities for the children and all of that, lots and lots of music and celebration. So tonight it was, it was different, but boy, it was, it was rich. The spirit of the Lord is there. And man, I'll tell you what, they ain't nobody like family. Uh, it, it's, it's true. I, I'm so appreciative of the family that God has given us. And I'm very thankful. I want you to know I'm praying for you. And I hope you've had a good Easter. I'm going to be back tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. So make plans on coming and joining with me, would you? All right. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.